Hey guys, this is me um, just putting down the base paint. Um, so this is actually house paint that I'm using. Um, it gives really cool cells, lots of effects. And um, like I did in a previous post, you can use um, samples. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm laying down the base coat right now. And those bubbles are actually gonna dry um, flat that you see. And I'll show you those results after this video. I'm torching for air bubbles. Okay, so I'm going to start layering my colors now um, that I'm going to blow out. So I decided to do kind of peacock colors on this. They're so pretty. Actually, before I even blew this out, um, just that by itself was so pretty. Okay, so I, um, when I show you guys the dried result, my base and my um, paints that I'm layering are not the exact same consist consistency, um, so you'll see that in a little bit too. So my, um, the paints that I'm layering with right now are a bit thinner than my base paint, and they should be the same. Um, or if anything, the layering paints should be a bit thicker, if, if that makes sense. And if you guys hear the guitar in the background, um, I won't know until I'm done, but that is my husband playing. <laughs> okay, let's blow this out and see what happens. I think I'm going to get a new dryer for this. I made the tip of the dryer for the blowout um, out of a toilet paper <laughs> roll um, because I didn't have the little diffuser attachment. When I started doing this, so I um, I'm doing this in real time so that you guys can see the paint move. So I, um, I don't like to flood my colors. It does um, give some cool effects. I'll do one of those for you guys too um, and show you the difference. But I like my colors to come out a bit more vibrant. So, um, so I choose not to flood them, which is moving the base pink over the colors. I don't do Dutch pour very often, but I do love the effects that it gives. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up now because I'm just going to fiddle with it. I'm just looking at it to see what it needs, if it needs more. I'm using my mouth to blow out in some spots. And knowing me, it's never done. You can see cells popping up. Oh, it's so pretty. Just messing around with it and fixing some spots. Ooh, doggy, 
that turned out pretty. Okay, I will show you guys the dried results. Hey guys, here's the dried result of the large Dutch pour that I did the other day. Um, it did move a little bit, so I think my base paint was a little bit thinner than the rest of them, but it still turned out way cool. This will look super cool. I don't know if I'm going to do resin or just the high Liquitex varnish on this, but there's still a lot of cool things happening in it regardless. So, love it.